www.ecclesiastical.class.co.uk The first step to preparing the gerbils food and water is to clean the equipment that we're going to use. We're going to clean the bowl using a disinfectant and the bottle and the top. This disinfectant has been diluted to the recommended amount following the instructions. After two minutes of contact time to allow the disinfectant to destroy any bacteria, I want to rinse these items. This is for demonstration purposes, but normally you would rinse under running water in the tap. You need to make sure that you thoroughly rinse to remove all of the disinfectant. Once that complete, then you can dry these items thoroughly and you're then ready to prepare the food and water for the gerbil. Here I have the bowl that I'm going to prepare the gerbil's food in. When it comes to actually giving the food, I'm going to scatter it so the gerbil forages rather than place the bowl in the enclosure. The first thing I need to do is to place the bowl on the scales, zero the scales so that we're not reading the weight of the bowl. Now I'm going to add seven grams of small animal mix. That's the recommended amount for a gerbil. Small animal mix is designed for all small rodents. One thing I want to add to the small animal mix is a cricket. Again, I'll need to place this in the gerbil's enclosure. This is going to provide extra protein for the gerbil. The last things I want to offer are to give the gerbil some fruit and vegetables. I need to cut these into small pieces, no bigger than my thumbnail. I want to offer a range of fruit and vegetables just to supplement the diet. Four to five pieces is enough. I now want to prepare the water. I want to fill this water bottle to the top with fresh water. I'm going to repeat this daily so the animal has fresh water every day. The bottle is filled right to the top so that I can see how much the gerbil has drunk in 24 hours. Now I'm ready to go and place these in the gerbil's enclosure. <laughs> 